Hi guys, good morning. This devotional is for Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. And on the Hebrew calendar, it's the 15th of Sivan, year 5781. Today is Samuel and Enoch's birthday. Samuel is six today and Enoch is three. So happy birthday to Samuel and Enoch. Um, I know our my nephew Cody's birthday is coming up in just a few days, and he is graduating, and we have a lot of family and friends that are graduating from their um, school year and wrapping up, getting ready for summer, so congratulations, everyone. Great job. It has been a wild school year, right? You guys are awesome way to get through it, way to be flexible. I am so proud of you guys. And I know that next year is going to be so much better, right? Because you have learned so much this year um, beyond just schooling. You, you know how to get through some things now, right? So you are adaptable and next year is gonna be so much better. All right, this devotional today is about idols. It's called, What is Your Idol? Or What is an Idol? The scripture comes from Exodus chapter 20 in verses 4 and 5. This is from the Ten Commandments or the Ten Words from Moses. It says, You shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them and worship them. So did you know that the Ten Commandments are more than a bunch of rules? They are all about good relationships with God, parents, friends, and even enemies. The second commandment doesn't quite seem to fit for today. Building idols, bowing down to statues, do you know anyone who travels around looking for statues to sit down in front of and sing to? Probably not. But the second commandment is still important. And there are still some religions in the world that literally do that. You may not realize you have idols in your life. Now, I have idols in mine too. Maybe you think highly of a certain singer actor or athlete. The surefire way to know if someone or something is an idol, you think about that person or thing all the time or very frequently. You may even think that your life will be better if you get to meet that celebrity or be like him or her. Or you think that your life is not complete without the thing that you think about God knows there are things that can easily distract us. Are idols taking God's place in your life? He is the only one who deserves your full attention and 100% admiration. And he is the only one who can change your life. All right, so a couple things I wanted to add here. One is uh, an example of this. I was in a relationship in high school and when that relationship ended, I was not able to live my life fully for God. So that was a clear indicator that that person was an idol. If there's something in your life that if it's taken away, um, like a boyfriend or girlfriend or best friend or family member, if they're taken away, if you're not able to continue bearing the fruit of the Spirit and um, desiring to live your life for God, then that person is an idol. Of course, there's a grieving period. If we lose someone in our life, we grieve. But ultimately, our heart should still be right with the Lord. If it takes us away from the Lord out of uh, anger and resentment and feeling like we're incomplete, then that person was an idol. Also for me, like coffee, I always often wonder if I run to it, like it completes my life. Like I have to have it, I need it to function. <laughs> Cause you know, motherhood, I'm like, hmm, that might be an idol. So a lot of times I'll go periods of time without it. 
um, just to make sure that my heart is in the right place and that God is first. God is my source of life and, and energy and joy and all of those things. And then things like coffee or, you know, secondary. Um, so evaluate that and pray about that. And here's our prayer for today. God, it can be easy to become distracted by celebrities and earthly things. I don't want to idolize anyone or anything but you. Please remind me and show me how to put you first in my life. In Yeshua's name, in Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys.